among them is a pedophile, who's an alcoholic, who likes children, who is convicted of murder, who's a Latin king. Don't we have the right to know that in the United States of America? What is she talking about? Come on. This past Passover Easter weekend, this is proof that God loves us. God exists. I Sorry, mean. Chris. Loves us. Wants us to be happy. Judge Janine is concerned about drunks getting into the United States. And pedophiles, because she has to say cute on buzzword. Specifically drunks. Judge yeah. Bachtwine is very concerned. Does not want the competition? <laughs> All right. Have you toasted your testicles this morning, both of you, before we begin? That's no? A ridiculous story. Come on. This is another reason God loves us and wants us to be happy. As difficult as things have been lately. How gay was the Tucker Carlson? What is that? Documentary? Promo. What is it? Oh. I told you yesterday how gay it was. Yes. Your ass hurts. <laughs> yes. Okay. Rude Pundit wrote the first piece. I, I don't even... I can't yeah, even oh, yeah. mention it's it on the fan, air. fan fiction. I can't even mention it on the air. So filthy. Do not <laughs> read it. Okay. I should have, have warned you before I, I, I sent that. I think it might be the first Tucker Carlson fanfic I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's a very narrow, narrow category. Yeah. Of well, I mean, there, you know, there's a lid for every pot. Uh, yeah, true. Sure. <laughs> some people sure. may get turned on by that kind of thing. Rude Pundit does remind you, I love how they talk about there's some big conspiracy out there to prevent you from infrared blasting your ball sack. No one's stopping you from frying your nuts, Tucker. I know there's a lot going on in the world, but do you mind if we just focus for the first hour on Tucker Carlson's? Nuts. What is it? It's called the end of man, <laughs> which already is a really super gay title, but it's about the death of masculinity in America, and the only way to prevent that is to, is to fry your ball sack. Well, I mean, this is like a very narrow cut. You probably remember this. Remember back in the 90s, there was like those softcore porn where it was just dudes naked hanging out. Right. Right. It wasn't like porn, but it was just like what? it was. I don't yeah, it was just like the... lifestyle yeah. videos. It was like yes. lifestyle videos, but like uh -huh. it was like that. That's what Tucker Carlson's. That's what that video looks like. It yeah. looks like one of those things from the nineties. <laughs> okay, but I don't. Why the tanning of the testicles? Is it, is is it there... any is it any different than that fad that was going around where people were tanning their anuses, oh, their their booty holes? Oh, remember that? That was different, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. Why did you, why were you supposed to do that? It's, it's the same idea. Oh. Because it, it energizes you. Really? Does uh, it? No, I don't Does think it? so. It seems like you'd have sunburn on your balls. I mean, don't burn your balls. Right. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say about that as a whole. Uh... I mean, I, does he, does he realize that his thing about the death of masculinity looks as gay as it does? Does he? Well, I mean, you're not okay. reproducing if you're watching that video. That's <laughs> Sure. I just... And also, wouldn't infrared on your balls... He's saying, like, part of the reason the balls hang down like that is because... It, you because they you, don't... You gotta keep the boys cooler. cooler right, they're the hiding from the heat. It seems right. like they're like... They would be like, oh, you found me. Yeah, right? that, like, that's the opposite of what yeah. your sperm count yeah. needs. It's like, why am I just hanging out down here trying to avoid the sun? But we have nudists in our audience... We could ask. Which is fine. We could ask them. Okay. If they've ever burned their balls, I don't want to. Are keep you saying that? Oh, really? Are you avoiding saying? Yes. Balls. I, I, yes. I told I him like that it. not since Tom Brady's balls has there been such a discussion balls. of balls on a show. Right. Oh my God! It's going to be balls, balls, balls for three hours. Ag coming up. She tweets. Um. So I figured out Tucker Carlson believes that uh, tanning your testicles with infrared light, commonly used as a therapy at most bougie salons, will make you a manlier man. Where have all the cowboys gone to Salon Scrote for a ball back rejuvenation? Apparently, is there a Salon Scrote? I hadn't heard. Of. I don't Where is that? Know. I, not that I know of. I know some. People... Does the right know how ridiculous they are? Are they aware? Have they? Okay, uh, and Alan Weisselberger reminds you, before irradiating your nethers, please wait for the longitudinal student study of Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's balls. Well, I mean. Let's wait and see what happens with Nicki Minaj's friend's cousin's balls first. <laughs> before you try this at home, boys, I care, I, even though I'm a gay. <laughs> when was the last time you were near at anything like that? A while, a while Testicles. ago. A while ago. <laughs> I mean, they're nasty, but I don't want you to burn them. They're not nasty. <laughs> they're not nasty. Yes, they are. They're nasty. No. I mean, seriously. Uh, Just cup okay. them. They're male fun sacks. Yeah. 
I just remember a comedian I started out with did a bit about sitting naked in a wicker chair and not being well, able to get out. don't do that. I just, that doesn't <laughs> sound smart at all in any, even if you right. don't have balls. All right, let's move on. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I needed those two stories. Judge Janine trying to keep drunks out of the and Tucker Carlson and his manly burn balls. Uh, Come on. My my <laughs> my ragey libertarian attorney, uh-huh. former roommate, yes. t- texted me and said, please go on the show soon and rage that Tucker Carlson is a little bitch in a bow tie and demand to go three rounds with him in the ring. By the way, nicely done, Twitter. Yeah. Um, also, I must be loving myself more because I watched like, I don't know. Two minutes of meet the press, and then I was like, nope. <laughs> Get out now. Nope. <laughs> nope. I know enough people on Twitter now alert me in advance. Yeah. yeah. They get the East Coast feed. Yeah, they yeah. get, yeah. Right. That I'm like, oh. oh, my God. Yes. Oh, here, this one, Uncovering the Truth, tweets, Chunk Todd. And, uh, Chunk, down- did you say Chunk Todd? Oh, Chunk Todd, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It works. <laughs> it really does work. Stupid goatee doesn't hide the double chin. I'm sorry, John. Oh, he has a weak kidding. chin. I'm kidding. Weak, I'm kidding. He has a weak jawline. It was a misspeak. Um, Chuck Todd said Democrats don't want to confront Biden's age. Biden is only four years older than Trump, but Chuck never asked Republicans to confront Trump's age. Chuck also said Biden doesn't have a loyal fan base, but Biden received the most votes in presidential history. Fire Chuck Todd. Oh, my God. And uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll do Meet the Press. I got a lot of, thank you, a lot of, um, what you call it? It's my, thank you for my appearance on MSNBC. Oh, on yes. Eamon's show on you Saturday. You look fantastic. I know. Thank you. I, good you know what? Can I just say I have whole new respect for hair and makeup and lighting people? That is not easy all on your own. Just saying. They do really the Lord's work. But thank you. And I called uh, Eamon Daddy, which he said on Twitter. It's the first time he's been called a lot of things on TV. He's never been called Daddy. I Baruch assaulted him about justice. Yes. And I said, do I'm... you mind if I call you Daddy just for this segment? Oh, boy. I made Jonathan Alter laugh, and that's not easy, Chris. No, it's not. You try it. It is not easy. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what was my point? Oh, uh, okay. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking a lot of Eric Bollard. It's always hard. on. Yeah. It's going to be hard on Mondays, I think, yeah. forever for me. But uh, I was try- I was thinking of him, and I just thought, oh, my God, none of us, we can't, we all have to try to be Eric. But I was thinking of him like, I'm not as good as Eric. I wish I knew. Hopefully, he will come with me and tell me what to say, because it, it's uh, it's just a lot, right? The whole Hunter Biden laptop, both sides do it. You're just like, yeah. I tried to do my best saying that it's just, there's no there there. Oh, my God. Right? It's like all someone was talking about all these huge stories that just seem to have, have right-wing Cr- crime yeah. and corruption that was just like, oh, that's out of the news cycle. And Hillary's emails, they were on like a dog with a bone, right? For mm-hmm. years, relentlessly. They never let it go. Hunter Biden's laptop is the new Hillary's email. They never let it go. Nope. Are, are Even good? when there's no there there. And meanwhile, I mean, what? Okay. I don't know how many. I. Oh, for instance, Aaron Rupar, our friend. We are all bullarding as fast as we can. Yes. He tweeted, Mike Lee wasn't mentioned a single time on CNN, State of the Union, Fox News, Sunday, NBC's Meet the Press, ABC's This Week, or CBS's Face the Nation. Not one mention of new revelations about a senator scheming with the Trump administration to end democracy on any of the major Sunday shows. Mm -hmm. Soledad O'Brien retweeted that. She's also bullarding as fast as she can on behalf of her friend Eric. She said how the political media is failing you part nine zillion and ninety nine. Thank you. It's like you're taking crazy pills, what they don't even cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Those are my... Thank you, Soledad. We're all bulleting. Um, okay. Where was I? Hold, please. Talk amongst uh, yourselves. Are you, are you going to die <laughs> angry? Oh, here it is. Here's the one I was talking about. Uncovering the truth. Another great Twitter account said, Why has the media moved on from the Jenny Thomas story? That seems like kind of a big deal. Mm-hmm. A sitting Supreme Court justice's wife was... Involved in the overthrow of the something that could have ended up before this. I'm not going to finish a sentence. All warning. There's going to be more it, about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the Matt Gates sex trafficking story, and the Jim Jordan pedophile cover up story, and the Mark Meadows voter fraud story, and the Trump uh, Ghislaine Maxwell story, and the Trump stealing classified documents story. Why? Because they're too busy gathering up Hunter Biden's laptop. Are you going to die angry about that too? Yes. Okay. Also, yes. there's kind of a I war I have made going room on. for things that I'm going to die angry about. It's, kind of it's a... like dessert. I'll always make okay. room for yes. more. There's also kind of a war going on. 
I don't even. I can't even. Well, I don't. Well, I mean, like, you know, I keep that, saying, that is I, sucking a I, lot of the oxygen. But I said, well, at least I got that in on yeah. Eamon on Saturday night. Is I, Enough with this clutch the pearls yeah. on the president calling a genocide a genocide. Yes. Yeah. Right? Right. Exactly. I, it's <clears throat> How many times can we say it? This isn't a war. It's a terrorist attack on a sovereign nation. And the fact that, you know, oh, did the president get over his skis? Is he ahead of his policy? Like, the. It, it, the pearl clutching is driving me insane. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? yes, it's a genocide. It, it, what else did he say? He shouldn't be in power. What What else shocking did Joe Biden say? Could you imagine what off the wall? He's a butcher, st- whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just saying, could you imagine what off the wall stuff Trump would be saying if he oh, was in no. office right now? Well, yeah. Aside he, from take he, Ukraine. He'd have his nose so on, far up his uh, right. tanned anus. Right. What? Oh, are his orange? Do you think he has that orange tan? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, he gets every crack. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. 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 Do you think he has when, a special When, the, when the spray gun goes down there, he spreads them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. Do you think it's a spray no. gun or do you think he has a special, like, you know, orange tan, like, UV light thing that he clamps on it? No, that's, that's a spray tan. Yeah. That's a yeah. spray yeah. tan. Well, spray, There's got to but... be one. They'd probably make one for tiny mushroom size. <laughs> But his penis, arms don't, don't it's, they, only do, they only do his face. I mean, See, we've seen I got blind. into meaty issues and then you dragged me right back in again to ball humor. <laughs> I, because now I'm thinking of orange balls. Basketballs? No, yeah. Trump's tiny. Four ball. square balls. Okay. Well, the ones Those are more red. Play, the ones he used to play jacks. Uh, yeah. Okay. But neon orange Super ball. balls. The kind you got to get out of the little thing at the supermarket. Oh, we could only bounce him to the moon. Okay, Ron Klain, let me just end with a okay. happy note. Ron Klain tweets, a few things POTUS got done in the past 100 days. Unemployment down to 3.6%, armed Ukrainians in defense of freedom, first black woman on SCOTUS, COVID deaths uh, down 75%, home tests free and easy to get, weekly job losses the lowest in 50, uh, uh, 50 years, uh, ACA coverage for more families than ever. Um, just because that won't, you won't hear that in the media anywhere. No. That won't be covered anywhere that because I don't know if you know, if you're aware, Hunter Biden has a laptop. Are you aware? Are you aware of that, Travis? I, I've heard he yeah. lost it somewhere. Yeah, it's well, hmm, right away. It's suspicious laptop. Well, I mean, who has one of those, right? Not me. Shady. <laughs> okay. Thank God we have rude pundit coming up with a, I don't know. It's a. Tucker Carlson are you, are you, auto, auto asphyxiation uh, story you, that you can't. I don't talk to about you really it. Don't good? even tell the kids about it. Don't thank God for that. That was scary. No. I read that whole thing. Well, yeah. if you if you want to read it, and, don't read and it and absorb it before the rude pundit comes on. Yeah, don't. Just go to rude break. Rude pundit. Blogspot. Com. Filthy. I you I do not recommend it at and all. We, we've it linked is so to it. So filthy. We've linked to it at Facebook and Twitter. I don't and know at why. Com. I don't know why we would do that. That seems like we're promoting filth. Ow, 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 ow,